Hello, this is your girl Jennifer Carroll with the Wealth and Health Empowerment Network. And I wanted to do a quick video for you today, actually a book review uh, on the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Now, if you are an entrepreneur or a would-be entrepreneur or just someone who's looking to take their career and their business to that next level, this is definitely a book that you are gonna wanna pick up. What Dale Carnegie reveals in this book is uh, information that will allow you to be able to communicate more effectively, make people like you, and really help you accomplish your goals, uh, both professionally and personally. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually discuss um, one of the, the core principles that he talks about in the first chapter of the book and that is principle number one don't criticize condemn or complain now most of us don't really realize that we are really a, a set of fixed responses to things that happen to us we have learned how to respond how to communicate how to behave based on the things that we experienced growing up so likewise, if we grew up in a household where people solved their conflicts by argument, arguing or being aggressive or, or anything like that, those are the tendencies that we have learned subliminally um, as being the way that we communicate, how we handle conflict, and how we deal with our problems. What this, this book, How to Win Friends and Influence, Influence People, does is actually helps you to bring to your conscious awareness the, the ways that you react to certain things based on a set of responses as opposed to what the individual circumstance is. But what this particular principle is talking about is, you know, we all, we all have a tendency to criticize uh, that, those things that are not in line with our core beliefs. We have a tendency to feel that people need to behave just like we behave or have value exactly what we value. But the reality is all people were, born, were brought up differently in different environments, have had different influence and different things happen in their lives. So it's very, uh, it's not fair and it's not, um, it's not good to allow for ourselves to to look at another individual and say they should behave in a certain way based on our core values and beliefs. And what happens when we do this, what we don't realize what happens is that when we criticize or condemn someone else, we basically are putting that person on the defensive. Instead of them hearing what we are trying to convey, they become defensive and uh, seek to you know, make themselves feel better. So at that point, they tune what you're saying out. You've lost your influence. You've lost your potential to uh, convert them to your point of view. And it's at that point just a lost cause. Additionally, when we complain about different situations, we complain about circumstances, we are basically creating a very bad energy surrounding us. And as you know, people like to be around positive, uplifting individuals, not people who are complaining and, you know, uh, gossiping and, and making other people feel bad. So one of the primary ways that you can influence uh, other people is to get out of the business of criticizing, condemning, or complaining about things that are happening around you. Just making those three small changes will have a major impact on your personal relationships as well as your business relationships. And it will allow you to uh, become a person that people feel comfortable with, people have regard for, and people trust as well. So again, this is your girl Jennifer with the Wealth and Health Empowerment Network. Uh, I wanna encourage you to visit our website at the 99percentincomealliance.com Remember to dream big and to love bigger. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.